in the division, for the lead in the division. Mid-December, it's exciting. It's very exciting. The Eagles are an outstanding football team. Obviously played well the other night in their win over Dallas. Dallas gave them a heck of a game. The Eagles were able to uh, hold on to the ball late in the game and drive it down the field and uh, secure the victory. Uh, their offensive team, different from the last time we played. They were third in the league then. Now they're one. Their defensive team is very steady right there at 11 or 12 in the league, and they have outstanding special teams with, uh, with the real threat in the return area. So uh, here we go. You know, Steve is injured and will not be able to play anymore. We'll have surgery on the knee. And it's, uh, you know, I feel bad for Steve. I mean, he fights his way back. He gets back on the field. He gets a little bit acclimated to game conditions again and then, then is injured. And uh, so my, our thoughts, the entire thoughts of our team are, uh, are for Steve, you know, uh, at this time. I did not, and I tried to encourage him after the game because uh, first news was that it, it may have been uh, a, you know, a hamstring or something like that type of an injury there in the outside back part of the knee. But unfortunately, it turned out to be more than that. I don't know when. That'll come up. That, that decision will be made. Not according to the medical people, there wasn't. Yeah, probably uh, next June. <laughs> no, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Don't ask me those kind of questions. I don't know the answer to that right now. Well, there's no way to overstate what, what Rich Seibert's contribution has been when the, when uh, Sean is down and he moves into center and, uh, and we really don't uh, miss a beat. Uh, that says a lot about him. Uh, you know, the, the Rich loves to play, loves any challenge. You know, he's a competitor, he's physical, he's tough. He's a great example for everybody. Um, so, but the more the merrier. You know, if we can get Sean back in the mix, then that'll be a good thing. But it's their whole team. They're a very talented team. They do an awful lot of, of things that are, that are, are done very well. Um, you know, we did a decent job over there, and uh, we would uh, hope to be able to build on that. Tom, did you think the team was going to do what you tried to do against us the last time, or force it one way, force it the rest of the game? And how were you adjusted to that? Well, they've adjusted by uh, continuing to scheme and come up with different ways, uh, particularly early downs, of, of creating problems for you with his movement. And, uh, but I'm, every game is studied in the NFL, and the good things are kept in the not so good or eliminated. So uh, as we go along and from, from the uh, last time we played them until now, we're looking at things that other people have done that have helped them. You've talked a lot about your running back freshness, but what else in the last three weeks has really made this? I haven't talked about their freshness. You have. You've asked me about it. And I've said, you know, the distribution has been pretty good. What Front, it's, it's difficult. It's not always consistent. It's not always every play. It's persistence. Perseverance, continue to keep banging away. We've done that, and uh, and that's paid off. I mean, the other night with the two long runs, I mean, you don't always get that. Not against a real good defensive team, which Minnesota was. Bears had a good game and, and a good run. I mean, he's done a nice job of, of uh, filling in at, at a job that in the beginning of the uh, training camp, you just have, you know, you're, you're – extra tight ends learn to play in that spot, you know, so that you can use another whole personnel combination and still, in effect, run the same offense. Well, it's become a lot more than that for him. We didn't have much success running or throwing. And uh, our defense was able to rise up and hold them to one out of five in the, in the red zone. Uh, you know, the turnovers were, you know, ridiculous, to be honest with you. The numbers were way down, yet we're ahead in the fourth quarter. And they have made quite a, a habit of, uh, of winning these close games in the fourth quarter, if you look and study and see where they're at, including the other night. So, yeah, there's a lot of very clear objectives here, one of which is uh, offensively we've got to get going. We've got to do our job. We've got to hold the ball. We've got to move the ball. We've got to be able to run the ball. Against a very good defense. Tom, it's a little bit of a different situation about the back. Now we're going to see the back of the back. And how much of a blow is that to what we've seen so far? 
Well, as I said, it, you know, you prefer it the other way, but unfortunately there's nothing we can do about it right now. Our thoughts go to Steve, and hopefully uh, we can help Steve over this great disappointment for him, and our team just has to, you know, march on. Someone else has got to step up there and do the job that we would have asked Steve to do. Well, he's done, an, he, when called upon, no matter what the role is, whether he's a gunner or whatever, he's done a good job, and we'll continue to call upon him. Trying to ruin breakfast and lunch at this point? <laughs> Deshaun is uh, this Deshaun. I mean, the big play aspect of his game, uh, you know, what he's done, particularly on first down, and did again the other night for the 60-yarder on the first play of the game. You know, you, you, you go back and look and see, and, uh, and that aspect of their game hasn't changed. I mean, he's, he's their, uh, their big play guy, and, uh, and they have, you know, McCoy's playing very, very well. Macklin had a big game against us the first time around. You know, there's some, there's, there's multiple talented guys there. Uh, he was uh, actually he was running a curl route, 15 yards deep, moving inside, and uh, yeah, I was totally wrong on that though. By the way, I was. I shouldn't have been on the field, but I I got carried away with that because I mean I could see it from my sideline. He's standing over there in front of their bench. God forbid we would miss one of those. Did you tell the official about that? What you saw? I had uh, a couple of choice. <laughs> I don't know which memo. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. I don't know. I know this. We're, we're not even. We're not even substituting. They're yelling, "Get off the white! Get off the white! Get off the white!" We're trying to send a group on the field here. Okay.